Hello, YouTubers out there. My name is Ian. I'm one of the uh, Nemesis Research and Development Labs guys. Um, today, we're going to learn how to basically re-image a computer using a Cronus 2015. Uh, follow along in the future here, and I'm going to teach you how to make a universal restore image with uh, using virtual workstation and also uh, a Cronus 2015. Get your Acronis 2015 disc. Make sure you put it into your drive bay here. Okay, I'm going to put that bad boy in there. I have slaved onto it through an external hard drive is my actual Acronis 2015 TIB image. What it is is a compiled Windows 7 universal image which is scalable to all architectures because it was created in a virtual environment. So. I'll show you how to do that later on. Follow me. Okay, we're going to power up the machine here. Find your hotkey to get you into the boot menu. Usually the runtime on this thing is uh, roughly anywhere from 8 to 20 minutes, depending on the architecture of your motherboard and how much RAM you've got going on here. All right, we're going to go with the uh, boot order right here, F9, in this case, for an HP G56 laptop. We're going to point our boot order to a CD, DVD, internal ROM drive. Now, what the Acronis is going to do right now is it's going to load itself into RAM so it can run live. There is no footprint. Once, basically, the computer's been powered down and the disk has been extracted, it's like it never happened. We're going to push up to a Cronus True Image 2015. All right, we're going to make sure that the uh, external drive, considering that this client here has decided to give me a wonky laptop. The problem was is that his operating system had blue screened out. He was using a Windows 7. So now the program in itself is going to load into the RAM. Just got to be patient. All right, now it's compiled its reality check, and now it can move on. Okay, you're going to enter a screen like this. We are going to recover my disks. You can see at the bottom there. Okay, we are going to browse for our external hard drive. And you will see your delegated drive under there. Make sure you name your drive because uh, when you're looking at disk, uh, for example, C, B, and F, it really doesn't help your situation. And coincidentally, I have got mine in backup. And it should be technically under, I believe, ISO images. And you're going to see my, there you go. There you'll see, I've got two images. One is for a 32-bit operating system, and one is for a 64-bit operating system. Like I said, stay tuned in the future, and we'll teach you how to make a universal image using virtual VM workstation and a Cronus. Okay? So there's now my tip file there. Uh, the beauty of Acronis is that it can actually crunch a 20 gig image down to roughly 8 gigs depending on uh, the padded content within. So we are going to select our 64-bit, which is for our 64-bit architecture of this laptop here. And we are going to OK that. You'll see your tally whack is right there. And then we're going to go next. We are going to recover whole disks and partitions in this scenario here. Hit next. 
we are going to choose actual disk one. All files in this little sector here are very important. Do not leave out the MBR or you will be sitting on a brick. Moving next. And yet again, we are going to now officially point it to where it needs to go. It's a Samsung here, so we're going to go disk two. And next. It'll give you a warning that your uh, drive that you've chosen has already contained partitions, which is typical. Um, that's just to assure that you know what you're doing. Here's your summary of the output right here. Pretty straightforward. If everything's gone right, you shouldn't receive any errors. Now we're just going to click proceed. So it's undetermined uh, how this uh, specific laptop is going to take it. Uh, some are really decent, and they will take the record that I've ever seen. It is roughly eight minutes. Uh, the worst case scenario I've seen it, depending again on the architecture of the board, how much RAM you're providing, and uh, basically it's taken up to roughly an hour. So let's hope for the best on the scenario here, and then we get our eight minutes out of it. So, so far there are no hiccups, which is nice. Now to go in detail of the uh, pre-built uh, TIB is uh, basically what I've done is I've installed Windows 7 in a virtual machine. I have put all my drivers that are required. I have put all my run times like Java, Silverlight. It's uh, basically universally. Uh, and on top of that, I've put in my uh, in this situation, we're going to be using open source programs, so we put LibreOffice, uh, we put free trial versions of CCleaner. Uh, basically, you just want to stay off of the copyright infringement and also the Piracy Act as well. And believe me, there are an amazing amount of freeware programs that are, if not better, than the actual purchase versions. And as you can see, uh, she's flying along pretty good, so fingers crossed today. And we'll see how it rolls. Uh, I just want to thank you all for tuning in. Um, and I hope that our uh, tech tutorials will be very beneficial for you. Uh, we do this for the sheer fact that we are educators and uh, we like to satisfy our curiosities. And I'm sure someone out there has shared the exact same feelings. Uh, hopefully our curiosities that we broadcast to you will maybe answer some that you might have had on your own. Uh, if you have any comments in the future, or if you have any suggestions, we are very open to forums. Uh, we would love for you to leave a comment in the YouTube comment section and uh, leave your name or your, uh, your YouTube handle that you're using. And uh, we will definitely correspond with you and even dedicate that specific service to you. So hang tight. We're going to speed it up and uh, we'll be back. Stay, can, stay uh, tuned. Okay, guys, I just saved you the painful weight of all this. Uh, we we're almost done. Uh, I just wanted to keep continuity here to show you that we didn't splice things together just so we can support our fact. So as you can see, she's almost at the end of her run right now. Uh, usually at this time, if you're a true technician or you're a true network guy, you've got your fingers crossed. Uh, like I said, things that seem to be in a specific format don't always work. So basically, uh, in this situation, we're just going to hold our breath and cross our fingers and hope to God. So we've got less than 37 seconds left. We have not had any issues whatsoever. Uh, if the gods are smiling today, I think we might be on to something. So just please bear with me for another 30 seconds here, and we should be okay. And I just want to add props to uh, my youngest one here, uh, Zombie Cat. She also has a YouTube channel uh, that I'm a full supporter of. Uh, I hope you guys definitely do look her up and give her some hits. Uh, she is a very talented young 12-year-old girl, and uh, she is definitely going to go places. So definitely look her up, Zombie Cat, on YouTube. So we're almost at the end of our run here, 15 seconds. And uh, just hang, just hang tight. Um, like I said, if you guys have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate. We are very curious people in the technology field. Uh, that is why we are an actual physical business called Nemesis R&D Labs. All right, rock on. We're doing good. Let's give it the acknowledgement that the process is over. And we are going to now...
Just wait for our screen to flash out here. Okay, we'll close our program. All right, make sure you remove the external hard drive. You don't want to mess with the boot. And remove the disk. Okay, the disk is open. Now, as you can see so far, we've got a startup screen. I think we're doing all right. Just to let you know, this is not an error. Uh, on the image, I pre-stocked Glary Utilities, the free trial version. I recommend it. It is very helpful for people who aren't really technically oriented. Uh, what it's doing is just doing a quick check. So we can skip that right now to save some time and content. If it wants to. Okay. Well, to keep continuity, uh, if you all are very interested in the services that we provide, I would recommend you check out our Google Plus account. We are a registered business, as I said. Uh, we are all network penetration testers, network technicians. Uh, we pretty much do everything we possibly can. Um, I would love for you guys to send us a prop or something like that. You can check out our Facebook page under Nemesis Corporation. We are currently in the process of migrating the site to the new name under Nemesis R&D Labs. Uh, don't hesitate to look us up, guys. We're very... Uh, education oriented people and we love to interact with people and uh, share ideas so as usual it's Windows so you know how it is I personally admire Linux more than this I prefer to use it considering at the end of the day after fixing everyone's Windows system I don't want to fix my own that's why I use Linux well, it's true. Think about it. <laughs> if you're a mechanic and you fix 100,000 Hondas, the last thing you want to do is go home and fix your Honda. That's just an example. No wrong integrity to Honda. Okay, we're almost done here. All right. In the meantime, I'll just extract the disk. Uh, if you people are actually interested in purchasing a Cronus 2015, it's amazing software. I uh, bought the image and I store it on an external drive as an archive and I just burn copies as I need them. We all know how unreliable disks can be nowadays. Uh, I definitely endorse the people who provide that product. It is one of the best restorative products that I've ever used. Very straightforward, simple, and it has the ability to scale large backup files into smaller. Uh, like I said, I can take a 20 gig image and drop it down to 8 gigs. Uh, not many other product providers out there will do that. Uh, like I said, please support the people that manufacture these products. Uh, without them, we would still be left behind in technology. So here we go, the moment of glory. We just did a reboot. And uh, fingers crossed. So far, so good. And here we go. Okay, here we go. Now it's just sizing the environment for the changes of architecture. Like I said, it's just a generic template of a Windows operating system. Now what it's going to do is it's going to seek out the additional drivers for the changes of the processor, the amount of RAM, and hard drive space. So it is a small process, but in the end, this little deal that we've just done right here has now saved me roughly five hours of sitting in front of the computer gathering all the required drivers, all the run times, all the specific programs that I like. Uh, so you can see. Uh, if you're a more advanced user, you can also uh, embed your key into 
the actual Windows 7 or whatever you choose. Uh, so far it's been tested on 2000 XP, Windows 7, and Windows 8. Uh, we will be doing one in the future to test on Windows 10, so please uh, stay tuned on the YouTube channel to see if we can definitely pull that off. Okay, so now you're looking at the big bubblies here. Uh, by default, Windows installs under a 800 by 600 frame. Okay, so bear with me, guys. You will see. Now, as you can see, if I open it up here, and I miss my window, Right now, it's basically looking for the changes in the architecture, like I said, and then it's going to adapt. But as you can see, I have now successfully pulled off a re-image of a complete Windows-built operating system in eight minutes. And you will notice, if you look at the properties, yeah, it should take a little while here. And there you go. Everything is absolutely in mint condition. Like I said, this is only this is not a cure-all. It's just to save technicians time. So technically, if we were to take a volume of four computers in under an hour, if we run four instances of Acronis, we can have four computers out the door. Whereas in a real life situation of a cold install, is five hours computer at four equals 20 hours. Little shortcuts in order to help your day and hopefully make you more efficient. Uh, I appreciate you guys tuning in and stay tuned for more in the future. Thanks a lot. Leave a comment in the section below and please subscribe. Take care guys.